<laughs> so Alex, there are hundreds, several hundred uh, uh, angry, uh, 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 vulgar, anti-Trump people here tonight. What made you come out? I came out in support of our president. I came out because I'm, I'm tired of the illegals here. They need to be deported. We don't need DACA. We want the laws in force. I'm here to support our First Amendment and, you know, President Donald Trump, we love him very much. And uh, we love every policy. We want the illegals to be deported and stuff like that. And we love Trump. He puts Americans first. It's about America. Uh -huh. Not about, about Mexico, not about, you know, Guatemala. It's about America. Yeah. So this uh, demonstration has signs from uh, the Answer Coalition, who are a long known a communist socialist movement what's their interest in keeping these uh, immigrants here some states are getting them to vote yeah I think I think basically just bodies just for them voting and you know to start this civil wars and and violence and um, you know a lot of bad things up their sleeve I think for sure you know even things that you know we can't we don't we're not saying off the top of our head but definitely I know they have a lot of bad things up their sleeve. Anytime we're not obeying our laws and, and stuff like that, yeah, that's, that's the wrong answer. To not obey our laws and our constitution and our bill of rights because that is clearly the law of the land, you know, so. Yeah, do you feel, uh, you feel like there's a culture war brewing in this country? Yeah, I do. I feel like that, uh, you know, the brown supremacy and, you know, um, like I told somebody else today, I said, you know, anytime a country goes in another country by the masses, is by definition a military invasion, you know? And uh, so, you know, we got places like Latin America, Mexico, you know, Central America, you know, and they're coming over here and, um, you know, trying to destroy our way of life and just basically suck from our system everything. And uh, Are they a big drain on California? I think so, Economically, big time. yeah. In every way, I think, absolutely. They're not even supposed to be here. If they're illegal, they're not supposed to be here. If they're legal, and see, illegal is not even a race, you know. Illegal is illegal, but we do know we have, you know, a lot of them from that part of the world south of the border, you know, 11 million, they say, but I don't think that's a drop in the bucket. We know that it's way more, at least, at least three times the 11 million, and that's a lot, and that needs to be addressed. And that's another main reason I'm here. I want to see these illegal aliens deported as soon as possible, all of them. They all need to go. You know, no DACA, nothing like that. We are not responsible for someone else's crime. But surely you, know. you, you must have more issues than just illegal immigration in support, oh, of, yeah. uh, in support of this presidency. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a, there's a lot. That's one of them for sure. Um, you know, and, and putting Americans first, taking care of our veterans. Um, you know, how about Middle East policy? I'm sorry. How about the Middle East policy? Absolutely, yeah. The Middle East policy, absolutely. Getting tough with Iran in a way that Rex Tillerson wouldn't. Yeah, you know, with the 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 um, the, the Islam. I mean, you know, we know we've been getting a lot of attacks from them, and that that religion, in my op opinion, is a religion of bondage, of bondage, because you know, um, um, the things they do, and if you don't believe, and you're not believe in Islam that you uh, you know should be killed and all that that's crazy you know so it's an unfortunate thing you know get right. my brown skin too okay. oh thank you I don't think I'm supporting a racist either like he's saying that's true that's true that's true that's that's true and we as a trump supporters we're not violent the left is generally violent you see them they're always violent you know so and a hostile are they hostile towards they're you they're very hostile very hostile very violent very vulgar very very vile you know and those kind of elements i don't think we need in our society whatsoever i can come here and be peaceful and not hurt anybody or get physical or throw weapons but that's what they do so i mean you know, and they can't even say a sentence. I mean, who would America want to align themselves with? People that can't even say a sentence or the educated. You know, we are the educated ones. They are the ones that they can't even say anything except vulgar words and stuff like that. 
Where? I would rather align myself with the educated, not that violent, vulgar. <laughs> Where are the rest of the Republicans here tonight? I mean, besides the, the, besides you know, the 35 think, who are having dinner with them. Yeah, I think a lot, you know, of people, too, are, are afraid because of the violence of this left wing, you know, and these uh, brown supremacists. You know, they're, they're more, you know, civilized. They're afraid. They don't want to be, you know, have violence. I don't want it either, but, you know, I'm, yeah, um, so. You're braver. Yeah, I'm just fed up, you know. I'm just really fed up with the brown supremacy and the illegals and stuff like that. We want to see our laws followed. We want to see our laws enforced. Absolutely. They're just maniacs back there, as you can see, all the noise and, you know, the savageness and stuff like that. I mean, so it's just, they, they, they really tell on themselves, actually, you know. You mean they expose themselves? They sure do. They expose themselves. They expose themselves. They tell on themselves. They, they really show their true colors, you know. Alex, what's, so. your, what's your last name? I'm sorry? For the, for the caption, what's your last name? Uh, Carrillo. How do you spell it? K, uh, C A R I double L O. Oh, like Leo Carrillo Beach. Yeah. <laughs> like like the song and, and the for beach. Trump all the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Nice. You have you have, you have a, a trade, a profession, an occupation, a I'm a uh, military. Military. I was in the army. You were? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, now? Reserves. How does the uh, how does the military feel about this uh, government? Uh, most of the military, a lot of them support our president. You know, I mean, that's our president, you know, and that's our commander in chief, you know, um, I think. But there's some that don't, but, you know, they'll be, you know, there's always a bad apple in the sea, but, or in the, in the tree, but, you know, we just have to pluck them and, you know, keep everything clean, you know. <laughs> now, what if, okay, Donald Trump, he's going to uh, North Korea, right? Go to North Korea. What if he says to uh, Kim Jong Un, "Here's the deal. Uh, you want to save your country, we'll remove the sanctions and you. And if you don't, if you don't, we're going to destroy your country. And that means America, American uh, service members going to. Uh, I'm not saying a serial land war." But would you still be supportive of that uh, that notion? Uh, if he sent our troops to Korea? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in defense of our country, if they're, you know, threatening us and stuff like that, absolutely. I mean, I, I stand behind our president 100% on his, the, what he's said so far. I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied of Donald Trump, Mike Pence, and Attorney General Jeff Sessions. I mean, I wish things could happen overnight, too, with this deportation. but. Um, you know, I know it didn't happen overnight, and unfortunately, we have all these corrupt officials in the offices and doing these corrupt things, and it's really unfortunate. But yeah, we definitely, we definitely need to clean up, clean up America. You know, all the way. Yeah. How you doing, right, bro? How are you? How's your night? Great. Thank you. <laughs> are, are, are you. Are you a little apprehensive about what's going on behind your back here today? Yeah, I am because I mean, these kind of people, you know, it's like you never know with them. And uh, they, they usually have guns and knives and they're, all, you know, all about violence, you know, most of the time, definitely. Yeah. So, so I'm, so I'm definitely, yeah. Is that why uh, you're comfortable keeping talking on camera so, you know, no one will do anything to you on camera? <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, I mean, God, they don't care. I mean, they attack police officers, you know, they shoot at police officers. I mean, you know what? And so they don't, they really don't care. They just want to do what they want to do, you know, and they just want to, you know, destroy a lot of them, you know, and yeah, that's what these illegals come here for, to kill, steal, and destroy, you know, in my opinion, for sure. And in a crowd like this, do they feel emboldened? I think so. I think they feel power in numbers. <laughs> but but in large, would, where, is, where are the conservative uh, street activists that uh, sometimes go out with you? How come they didn't come down tonight? They're tough guys. Yeah, I'm surprised. Well, I think a lot of them went to maybe in uh, San Diego, I think, right. at the border wall. Today. At the border wall. Yeah. And so I'm, you know, I came out here, and we have a few of us here, and, you know, I'm surprised. I thought there would be a lot more of them, you know, but considering, you know, what's going on, 
Heck, there's really not that many of them, actually. I'm actually surprised. I expected this to be like a huge thing with, you know, the streets blocked off and, you know, everything. And it's, Like downtown on May, for, on May Day. That's correct, and it's nothing like that. It's actually, it's actually surprising. They're really weak. They're, fall, they're, they're, de they're acting in desperation. They're desperate. They're very weak. They're a losing, they're a losing battle. No doubt about it. Thank goodness. Thank God for that. <laughs> thank God. We don't want, I mean, come on. You look at them, it's like, are they going to run our nation? Like, would we want violent criminals to run our nation who can't even put two sent, two, can't even put a one sentence together? You know, <laughs> I mean, come on. Every other word is, you know, F-U-C-K and F-U-C-K and. There, there are people commenting uh, that, uh, uh, Trump with uh, with the Russians. What about uh, Hillary Clinton and uh, the Uranium One deal, and all the uh, the, the uh, donations that the Clinton Foundation would take in exchange for favors for Russia? The uh, you know um, I, I hear a lot of hype about this uh, people you know the anti-Trump talking about Russia and Trump having something to do together and you know that's all fake news. I realize you know I mean. Gosh, it's, it's so simple, you know, it's fake news. That's one, another one of our, all right, Trump, all, all the way. Baked Alaska. Is Baked hey, Alaska bro. here? Baked Alaska. Hey, bro, how are hey. you? Good to see you. Where you, you been? Where you been? <laughs> I'm back, <We're>, baby. <laughs> You're back after the crowd is like one third of what it was. Yeah. Sorry, I just got here, the traffic was terrible. Did you come up from San Diego? Um, no, I was in, uh, up in the valley, but the traffic was just awful, there was like, Apache helicopters and shit. Why? Because President Trump is in town. Now, President Obama came and he brought uh, Ospreys, uh, also uh, Apache helicopters. Yeah. But on the news here, people, the, the uh, reporters seem to be reporting that pr President Trump is uh, uh, th the negative uh, influence. How come they were never reporting that uh, President Obama's arrivals were negative? Because all the media is completely biased and it's run by leftists. I mean, we see that time and time again. Um, you know, the day before the election, they said Hillary had a 99% chance of winning. It's completely false. The media lies to you. Uh, they're fake news. So I'm glad we have good independent journalists like you out here. Why are there not more uh, conservative uh, demonstrators here in such a, a, a well-publicized event? Right because they're scared. I mean, frankly, I've been attacked by far left Antifa uh, terrorists, as I would call them. And uh, a ton of people have been attacked. You know, Lauren Southern and Brittany Pettibone just got arrested in the UK uh, just for trying to uh, interview Tommy Robinson. And there's an attack on conservatives on social media, in the physical world. We see it all around us every single day. And so, they, frankly, people are afraid to come out because they're going to be attacked. But I'm not gonna say no just because there's these anti-American black mass people here. I'm going to stand up for my president. I stand up for America first, for American values. I stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, and I love our troops. Uh, but if these people don't feel any pushback, aren't they just going to push uh, harder? Which people? I mean, the demonstrators here, the, the communist, the socialist from uh, Answer Coalition and Refuse Fascism. Yeah. Yeah, I think we need to see more uh, Trump supporters come out here. Uh, be peaceful, you know, we never promote anything violent at all, and, but I, they've just made the environment very tough for Trump supporters to coexist. Where can people find more about your stuff? Uh, you can find me on YouTube, Baked Alaska, or anywhere on the internet. So. Nice. Thank you, man. Who are you with? What's your uh, hashtag? Twitter, Twitter tag? Uh, on, on, on Twitter, I'm the BA Experience. Okay. Yeah. I've always, I've always liked that airline, BA. 